Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Whether you're in need of a website, domain or online store, make your next move with Squarespace. For the last few years, I've always considered medium format film to being better than a modern digital camera. However, this depiction of better does kind of rely upon a few things. Of course, if you're shooting sports or need high ISO, digital is way better. But for my kind of photography, portraits, landscapes, kind of slow photography, I've always thought that film is the best. But I have to admit, my view is probably a bit dated now. I sold my last digital camera about three years ago when I stopped needing it. And since then, there's been a bunch of technological advancements with digital, however film has kind of stayed the same. And the most interesting advancement in digital to me is the new affordability in medium format systems. It wasn't too long ago where a digital medium format camera cost at least 20 grand. And now, they're not really costing that much more than the top-end DSLRs. So, I thought it was the perfect time to get my hands on one and do a little comparison and see if my opinion is still up to date. So here's the Fuji GFX 50R. It's a rangefinder style mirrorless medium format camera, which like the name suggests, has 50 megapixels. One of the key factors that makes medium format so great is the bigger sensor or film size. This not only gives you an increased detail and resolution, but you also need to use a longer focal length lens to get the same field of view, which in turn means you have a greater compression and a shallower depth of field. And this is what gives the typical medium format look. So to gather some test images for the comparison, I headed to the studio to meet up with a special guest. Okay, back by popular demand. We <laughs> overshot that one. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Welcome back. Thank you, I'm excited to be back. You've got to put the strap on for safety when you're carrying such an expensive camera. I'm probably going to shoot with natural light since it's uh, looking pretty good right now. I'm going to keep it with a grey backdrop, maybe use this little reflector to just bounce in some additional light to fill in the shadows on one side of his face. But a nice, like, simple setup. I don't know how it works. I haven't done this in so long. You look like you don't want to have your own school photo taken. <laughs> <laughs> should, I do a, should I do my pretend smile? Okay. Ready? Come on, let's go. Three, two, one, let's go. <laughs> don't tell me it doesn't look like I'm laughing, do you? No. Do you know about white people yet? Their jawline stuff, like, yours is where they go like that, mm -hmm. right? Iranians, and my dad does as well, it's just like round. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's not like, it's not angular. Yeah. It's just round. You should just get that off your chest. Just get that off your chest, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, the body's still there, but like as if you were like stretching to look down a bit, a bit less, and then just down the top a bit, and then your left hand, if you put that like up here, and try maybe just like up a bit higher, and a bit more like trying to like pull a bit, and... So this is the official... <laughs> it's a power pose. If, if you're not doing yoga, you're not going to be a good photographer because you need to the distance. be fluid with your <laughs> subject. The distance between the legs. You think this is something? How's <laughs> it? One of the many benefits of studio photography is uh, you can just sit down the whole time. And if you've got a wheelie chair, you can just like get anywhere you need to get for the photo without even standing up. It's quite a luxury. Maybe look towards me a tiny bit more.
I don't have any stories about <laughs> film. So, what's your favourite flavour of bread? <laughs> I thought you were going to say, what's your favourite um, flavour of medium format film? What is your favourite flavour of medium format film? I like a bit of a funky, like, at least 10 years expired. <laughs> you know I mean? Got a bit more of a sour taste going on. Okay, favourite... Fuji is the worst film because they don't even let you lick it. <laughs> yeah. How am I going to get Honestly, my nutrients? It's so disappointing. So I've got five photos left on uh, this roll. So I decided... So I, th I think just like your outfit today, you look like you would appreciate a nice, like, <laughs> aggressive flash. Um, so for the last few photos, I'm just going to do something with lighting. And I think it would just be like a classic press style, bare bulb, intense flash. It's not going to be flattering, but uh, should look cool. Oh, fantastic, not flattering. <laughs> well, no, but it would be like a much, a higher end version of like a point and shoot flash. Like OG Terry Richardson, simple lighting, you know, not, not extreme studio beauty. <laughs> oh, you want to look edgy, you know? But but just for that the sexual misconduct. Yeah, we were not doing that bit. <laughs> so to no surprise, they're both more than capable of taking good photos. But I think in the end there are a few things which definitely stuck out from shooting them both side by side. The digital camera is way more confusing to use, and I'm sure you'd get used to it eventually, but it just seemed like so many things were buried in complicated menu systems that you just don't get when you're shooting with something like the RZ. And I think this is important when you're shooting something like a portrait, where you don't spend downtime in the camera trying to figure stuff out, you're just present and taking photos, which to me is pretty important. And I definitely do prefer the way that the RZ renders scenes. And I think a lot of this actually comes down not to the film versus digital, but to the lens. The Fuji's lens is so sharp and clinical, and it's missing maybe a bit of character. I think the RZ just has this, it's almost like a slight softness in the way that it, it renders images, which just makes things feel a bit more real. And I think particularly in portraits, this is really nice because it makes the subject's skin just smoothen out a bit and make it like the perfect level of soft. Of course it's still sharp, it's medium format. I don't know, It to me it makes a lot of sense. It's just it, if the way it renders things is much more pleasant to me. And I also have to say, in terms of the actual increase of sensor size, these kind of digital medium format cameras still have nothing on the actual size of 6x7 film. So if you are after the super shallow depth of field, it's still going to be a little way off until manufacturers can make sensors big enough to compete. But sharpness wise, this isn't an issue. The Fuji is unbelievably sharp. It is really impressive, but I guess you would hope so at that kind of price point. I guess this is more of a an informal comparison. Of course, there's loads more details that you could jump into about them side by side. I just thought it would be a little fun test. Go out and shoot, have some fun. Who knows? Hopefully, it's somewhat interesting. Unfortunately, I had to shoot this video in a bit of a time pinch because tomorrow I'm going to Berlin. Hopefully, there should be some fun, interesting vlog type thing coming from there. So finally, I'd like to thank Squarespace again for sponsoring this video. If you're looking to start a new website, maybe purchase a domain, start a blog or an online store, Squarespace has you covered. It's a really amazing all-in-one platform which you don't need any prior experience of building websites to get really professional looking results. There's a bunch of different templates and themes to get you started and if you're looking to build a photography portfolio or anything else, it's an amazing place to do so and having a portfolio is super important. You need a place to show people your work. And what's really great is if you sign up using the code negative feedback or clicking the link in the description, you can get 10% off your order. So why not go and get yourself a lovely new website today? Thank you for watching.